the movie brings lots and lots of lots of joy, and it's and it's a, a message that I carry with me every day. The fans are going to eat it up. I mean, they're not. Let's put it this way: the movie does not disappoint. So exciting! My gosh, I don't think I've ever been in a room with that many people. It was huge. I couldn't see the the horizon. The sheer enthusiasm of, of the from fans. the fans—they're just die um, hard. They were great. They, so much mean... energy, so much excitement. Um, I think they seemed charmed by Elio and by little Jonas, who could not be charmed by him. He's like the most charismatic kid in the world. But it's so exciting. It's just exciting to see how it progresses, and it's. Truly, I'm in awe of the collaboration that any, anima any animated film is and the time that it takes to craft them. And I honestly think that's why it's some of the best storytelling happening, you know, in, in entertainment, because it does take so much time and so much thought and so much crafting. And, you know, um, it's, it's a wonderful process to get to be a small part of. It was amazing. There's so much love at D23 for everything Disney and to be part of the Pixar contingent and to announce a new movie, you just felt it rumbling in the room. So I really loved it. And it's fun to be backstage watching everything else. We were crying at some of the clips and to be part of it, it's amazing. The reaction to, to our voice talent, America Ferreira walking out and just the love um, for her. I've been a fan of hers forever, so to have her cast as, as um, Olga in our film is so super exciting. And then Jonas, uh, our Elio, he's just so charismatic. And like we've been sitting on this secret for, <laughs> I feel like, you know, a year and a half now. But just to share his energy with everybody and see everybody um, uh, just love him and embrace it. I, I think, yeah, I love that. I couldn't believe that they asked me to direct Hocus Pocus because I, I was really terrified. Um, was I capable? Was I able to bring what fans loved so much um, to it? And it, it took me forever because I was, you know, nervous. How can you be, not be? But you have your three witches and it's kind of like when you had hard days, you're like, but I have the witches. Like, they're heaven on earth. They're funny. They're, you know, everything that oh, fans love about them is just in this movie, plus Billy, plus... So when I got the movie, I was like, oh, I want Billy and, and um, Binks back. But I'm like, how do you bring Binks back? So we have a little, another little cat in there, but we have an amazing cast. So that was part of it. So I, I finally, like, said, I have to do this movie. This is daunting, <laughs> very daunting as it was. I took the job, and, uh, and here we are. It seemed like it played really well. I loved it because I love my cast. I love the story we told. I love my crew. I love Disney. I've been there. This is my third movie with them. So everything was fantastic. And the room is amazing. And then I stayed for my friend's Disenchanted movie. And again, so much fun. Just so much fun. Well, I, but they, again, may, may I say, I don't know when it started, but at least 29 years ago, somebody called on to the fun of dressing as the Sanderson sisters because it has not stopped. People are obsessed with it and it's fun. It's really fun. So much so that I go, please. Just being here is, um, is, is magnetic and um, magical, really. Um, to be here today has been an incredible day for me. I was here early this morning with my Frozen family, and then to be here with the Disenchanted cast. Um, I'm really proud of this movie. I think people are going to love it. It's just as witty and clever and smart. Before, I get to sing a song in it, so that's a little different. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. I mean, just being a part of the Disney family has been the, one of the greatest gifts in my life. Um, and the fans are amazing and been so supportive. And I get to connect with them all the time whenever I'm singing and touring and performing. And um, this music from, from Frozen and Enchanted, I mean, it just lives on forever. And um, I'm, just, uh, I'm just so grateful. The sheer enthusiasm from the fans, they're just die hard. They, this means so much to them, us being here, everyone here talking about their projects. And um, it's a reminder of why you do it, right? It's like we, we make so many people happy and, and this movie specifically is like, 
I hope it's going to put a smile on so many people's faces and capture that Disney magic like we did the first time around. It felt like it was lightning in a bottle back, back in 2006 when we did the first one. So now to be able to do it again and reunite with all these wonderful people and wonderful talents and invite new people in like Maya and Gabby and um, really, really special. And I mean, I do, I, this is like, uh, this isn't work for me. This is like, this makes me really happy to talk about these types of projects. Oh, it's super cool. I mean, one is so many people, uh, so many people, and they all like really, really care and love the characters. And so it's kind of a really cool thing to see. You don't really get this experience with every film you make. Uh, first impression, uh, you always hear about how much people love these characters, but then you like feel it walking onto the stage. So that's kind of cool. And it's, I bet for them too, it's really nice to be in a community that's as obsessed, that's as in love with the things you're in love with. So very nice. We debuted just a snippet, just a snippet uh, of Mufasa, um, which uh, it was a collection of moments, collection of beats, not a trailer, not a teaser, but it was really nice for people to see these characters. What excites me most about uh, making this film that audiences get to discover is just understanding a little bit more about these characters that we've all been so obsessed with uh, for like literally 30 years, going back to the original Lion King. It's just really nice to look underneath the hood and understand like how Mufasa came to be who he is. Insane. Well, first of all, I'm so excited for everyone to get like sucked right back into that like twisted fairy tale trope enchanted universe. Um, this time with even more like action and adventure and more music too. I can't wait for fans to get some amazing new songs that I hope they love. You know, I really thought that like when the trailer came out, it would start to finally feel real. Still doesn't feel real. Still, still so surreal. Still trying to comprehend, but. It, I'm so excited, like seriously. My favorite thing about working with them is, I think just like the joy that they brought to long days on set. Like Amy is literally a real life Giselle, you know, she is always singing and singing and singing and singing and I love that about her so much because she just brings like, it brings such a positive like energy and atmosphere. Like she's everything you'd want her to be and more and Maya's hilarious. Everyone was just so fun and so welcoming and it was just a great energy all the time and it was contagious, you know. Oh, it's amazing. It was amazing. The fans were super welcoming and warm and excited to for the film. And I think that I got so excited and moved by Rachel's reaction. <laughs> I was crying. She was crying behind the, cur the, the <laughs> curtains and she got so excited and it was just like... Yeah. <laughs> so to be able to experience this, I remember the first time I did Comic-Con, so it's like to be able to experience this as a first with you was was so amazing. It's yeah, so overwhelming. It you don't really you don't have enough moments to really realize what you're doing and how much it's going to impact so many other people. And then just seeing the logo, I was like, oh, so <laughs> lots of tears. Wow, it's been amazing today being in this room. I mean, I'm just so in awe of everything going on. I loved watching the other trailers of the films and seeing mine. I'm so excited. So just finching myself today. It's amazing because I've actually, I hadn't seen anything until today. So that was my first time seeing the trailer and part of your world. I had seen like a few little bits and pieces in ADR, but seeing it all together, I mean, I just cried. I'm like, wow, it's so cool. The coolest thing about this all has been getting to play a character that I've loved so much since I was a child. It's really fulfilling and it's in the best way. Um, I'm just so excited to play Ariel, who I've loved so much. I mean, when I was little, I would pretend to be her in the pool every time I'd swim. So the fact that this is happening is like a little weird. I'm like, wow. It was great to be out there and hear it all, and, and some, some new projects, some original ones that got a, a huge amount of great response. It was so great. I was sitting in the audience, and to be out there and see everybody getting so excited about some of the new stuff, like the Win or Lose series, completely new thing. Um, obviously, the, the, everybody was excited to see Inside Out come out, but it was just great to get the reaction to, to yeah. all the new stuff there. That was scary. Uh, being in front of people is not what I studied at cartoon school. But uh, it was great. It was just like a 
great crowd reaction. You could feel the love for these projects, which is great because, you know, we've spent a lot of time working on them. And this is kind of our big coming out party. It's like the debutante ball. It was really great to, to, to see this stuff. And, you know, when you're in the audience, I, I suddenly kind of put myself in the mind of like seeing it with fresh eyes and so forth. And, and seeing this stuff is like, oh, yeah, I want to see that. It was just it was really fun, really fun. They've really innovated, and it was one of the. It was a good kick in the butt for us. As I said, we did. We've done 26 feature films. We've established these patterns and things that we do, the rules, and they're breaking them all, which is exactly what they need to to be able to do something like. It's a very ambitious project with characters seeing the same uh, events from different points of view every week. It's just really, and it's very sophisticated filmmaking. I mean, it's really cool. We were just saying it was when somebody, when the talent comes on stage, people get so excited about it and the people they know and like and are cheering, for, you know, before people even say anything, they're just so excited to see them. And it's really touching, though, I have to say that those actors have connected so well with the audiences that really has a great amount of meaning in their lives. That was so... Uh, surreal because you know you work on something it's yours and you know it's that moment where it becomes not yours you're handing it over where it's supposed to go eventually but it takes you know it's that first step and um, so it's it's vulnerable and exciting and that ovation was thrilling and uh, um, and moving the music is an incredible I mean the beautiful score the original score by Alan Macon and Howard Ashman is definitely you know the bones of this piece. Um, we have new material actually written by Alan Macon and Lynn Manuel Miranda, which is pretty sensational as well. And, and you know, the great thing is we were able to um, expand the film, deepen the film from the animated. Obviously, it's a live action film, and 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 bring new characters into it, and also um, actually find a real emotional journey for the entire movie, especially her. I think when they see the range of what she can bring, you know, she can do something so joyous and fun like Under the Sea, which is just fantastic, or, or something like Part of Your World, which is just this wonderful, it's sort of like our Somewhere Over the Rainbow, you know, the I Want song. And so you feel deeply what she wants, but also, you know, she has, she, she fights for what she needs, and it's the range. It's really a, a relationship uh, movie, too, about a father and a daughter learning to let her go and see that she wants something different than what he has planned for her. There's nothing better than showing it to this D23 crowd because they are so receptive and so warm and so supportive and so loving. And so um, that was incredible. I'll hold that with me for a long time, that reaction. And then the reaction when Hallie came out on stage, you know, the whole thing was pretty, pretty beautiful. This is, the, I would say, the best audience in the world. And I'm not kidding. I mean, it is, you know, you could say they're the best audience in the world. They are amazing. And it's your first time, Fawn, so yes. what was it like And, and Chris has been telling me about the audience, right? And I stepped out and I was a little freaked out by the, the energy, the positivity, and a really, really lovely crowd. You really do feel the warmth and the love that comes back. You know, they're so, you know, they're on your side. You know, they're just like, they want to love what, what we all love and what we love doing, so it's, it's a love fest out there. Well, I think for us, it's, it's such a... Um, we both grew up loving Disney films, right? And we both, both, our passion was to work at Disney Animation all our lives. And so to actually be, you know, be in this position, be lucky enough to be here, and then to be able to make a film that really celebrates what wishing is all about, what Walt Disney Animation is all about, what Walt has given the world. Um, to us, that's really special. And to be able to do it in the 100 years, the 100 year anniversary, it's pretty incredible. We, it takes a lot of care and passion that we pour into this film because we understand if we, we are fans ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> so we know what we would like to see. So we're like, let's put it all in here. and. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been working on this film for, for so long to be able to share that with the world. And we took inspiration from the, the early Disney film, you know, that has watercolor look. And then we, we look at our CG teams, like how can we combine the two looks together to create something new? 
and and I think we did it, and I'm so glad that they responded the way they did. Cause, yes. Cause, yeah, it's a, it's a whole new look, but it but and and it does exactly what we had set out to do with this film, and that's celebrate our past, but also celebrate our future. Being on the D23 stage was nothing short of an absolute dream. I mean, I've been watching Disney since I was a kid now, and it's it's pretty much raised me. It's been such a huge fiber of my being. So to actually be a part of a project and be on stage with fellow Disney lovers, it was really special. Sharing some of the footage, it was absolutely surreal. I mean, some of that stuff I haven't even seen myself, so I was actually watching some of it for the first time. And it's, it's more than I could have ever dreamed of. Like, I... The character I'm so close to, obviously, but like the colors and the kind of animation that they have incorporated in this film, I actually heard they haven't really done effects like that before. So to actually see it on screen, I was just like, this doesn't feel real. I am most excited to see the audience really connect to a character that loves her family, is incredibly hard on herself, and is just filled with love that she has to give. She's someone that is an amazing character, but also still has a lot of self-work. And um, to see her also meet a water boy who kind of like changes her whole take on life. I'm excited for people to see that maybe our differences can actually bring us together too. That was so, so, so cool. Um, you know, just so much goodwill and, and I have such a love for this project. These Pixar scripts are the best. They're like the best. They, they, they're the best. Um, but also the, there's a family element, so there's a, I, I mean, I'm a first generation immigrant myself, so it's, it feels very close to me. The reaction it got was just, you were just like, oh my gosh, they like it. It was a relieving, joyous experience. It's huge. I mean, like I'm coming from like a really small community called Conklin, Alberta way in the woods, right? And I'm coming here to this huge event. It's, it's phenomenal and it's, it's excitement I've never felt before. <laughs> it's an absolute honor to, to get to play this character who's been in the hearts for, of so many for so many years. It's just amazing. Tiger Lily, she's such an iconic role. Everybody knows about her from the original Peter Pan that is, you know, next year will be the 70th anniversary of Peter Pan. Um, it was really a, a huge honor to be able to take her on and really take care of her and mold her into what she really deserved. This is the place to be. Like, if you're a Disney fan, this is it, and everything's here. They'll get to clearly see the bonds that we've all made, and not only as characters, but as people on and off set, and I think I'm so excited for everyone to see the, the magic that we've all brought to it. I was a little nervous, but mostly excitement. I was just running in there. I was having a blast, having a great time. But overall, it was just an amazing experience. That stage is super magical. And if you've never been there before, you have to go check it out. It's an amazing experience. It was, a, it was very hard to keep it a secret because I was super excited to tell everybody. But now I can tell everybody, and hopefully they're super excited to see. It was just wonderful, you know, we've been working extremely hard at this for the past couple of years so, and we, we haven't been able to say anything, so there was something quite liberating about being able to just show the world what we've been working extremely hard on for the past couple of years. Really loved the fans' reaction, really, really loved it. It's something I'm going to play over and over on those tough days, so it's going to be golden for me. <laughs> on stage we said Iwaju is a love letter to Lagos, so we try to embed as much of the unique feel of the city as we could. I can't wait for people to experience a different kind of future because it's a future people are used to and we really push to make sure this project is very unique in the way it depicts the future in the tools that people are using which is very unique to us to elucidate the spirit of Lagos. I don't think anybody is prepared for what our show will look or feel like and I'm very happy about that because there is nothing in the 100-year portfolio of Disney animation that feels like our show. It feels very different.
Good. I actually feel great. Um, I was really nervous. Um, it was such a special moment, and I haven't sung live in front of that many people in a long time. The shower is a very different situation. So uh, this was very special, and to know I'm a part of a film celebrating 100 years of Disney animation is, I don't know, that's, that's, a, big, that's a big one. So written by the incredible Julia Michaels. Like, it's a new wishing song for a new generation, and I'm really proud to be a part of the Disney family moving us forward. Like, that's cool. Um, I didn't know what to do with myself, but I can tell you it was all love. I don't know if there are any fans, like Disney fans. Like, and it was really cool because I was standing backstage because I don't think anyone knew I was here. And I was just listening to them listen and they care so much about what's being made and how it's being made. And that was really cool. And then when I came out and they actually was, were excited that I was there, that really made me feel a lot better. <laughs> so <laughs> it, um, it, was, it was special that the fans make all of this, you know, worth doing in a way, you know, they're special. I was really thrilled that they enjoyed what, what happened on the stage today. And, there is nothing like the synergy between performer and audience. And when it's good, it's like, it's a kind of communion, you know? And it was, it was just, there was a special kind of communion today. So that was very, uh, I don't know, full of wonder. Yeah. It was really exciting to just tell that crowd. It's a great crowd. And, um, yeah, it felt real um, that we announced it and that it's happening. And, you know, this job has been incredible. Inside Out was a beautiful film that I felt so lucky to be a part of. So the fact that we get to make another one is awesome. Well, I think they're going to, um, we're going to go back to Riley's head, but she's going to be a teenager uh, and all of the emotions that come with that. And I think that Joy, like us, is going to be a little confused by how things work. Um, just when she has the system down. So I think that's life, right? Is the minute you think you figure something out, you grow, you change, new emotions come in and you have to navigate them. So I think Joy is going to be like us and she's going to be a little confused. You know, there's no other connection like, you know, Disney and Pixar's animated films. It, like people connect to it in a way that is so primal. So to be in any small part of that is awesome.